There are three cold email mistakes you should absolutely avoid. These are mistakes some of the best salespeople we work with are fully aware of and you know what? They make sure they never, and I say never, make them. So let's get started. Number one, lengthy subject lines. Yes, the subject line matters. It is the first text that your prospects will see. So here you need to avoid making it too long and instead convey a message with minimum text because otherwise you will lose their attention. We recommend six words maximum. For example, chat next week, first name question mark. That's just four words and you'll notice that just by shortening it and asking a question, you'll get much better results. All right, next mistake to avoid is focusing the first line of your email on you instead of your prospects. The first line, intro line or icebreaker, however you want to call it, represents the first words of your email. Now that you got your prospects to open your email with an intriguing subject line, you need to avoid losing their attention by being generic in your first line and you know what I mean by that. The famous standard first line. Hi Sarah, I hope this email finds you well. My name is Youssef and I work for the Scale Lab and we offer X, Y, Z and so on. Don't do that. Instead, focus your first words on your prospect. Say something they have achieved, something specific that their company does or offers, or anything that is unique to them. You can get quite creative, but the goal here is really to help you stand out from the crowd and make a great first impression from the start. You know what they say? You get only one chance to make a great first impression. So let's not waste it. So what you need to avoid is being generic and focusing on yourself. Instead, be specific and focus on your prospects. And now, mistake number three, passive call to actions. Too often we see salespeople either asking too many questions in one email, which dilutes the call to action, or signing off with a, let me know when you are free, let me know if you are interested. Ask a question instead. Change, let me know when is a good time, by, are you free later this week or rather next week for a quick five, 10 minutes call. So that's it. Switch lengthy subject lines to short subject lines, switch generic first lines to specific first lines, and finally switch passive call to actions to active call to actions. Let me know in the comment section what else you avoid in your cold emails to be able to succeed. Over to you.